Whoops. Ask your dad. This is only supposed to be a picture. Hey guys, welcome back. So today on the channel, we're going to be doing something new, but not quite new. We are going to, I'm going to be making a rifle sling for my model 94 Winchester. And it's going to be similar to the rifle sling that I made for the SKS last winter. But it's going to be a little bit different and it's going to be more customized to the rifle and to me. So this is the Winchester Model 94 lever action rifle. Now I've already made a ammunition sleeve for this. And I want to elaborate on this a little bit more and be able to carry it a little bit better out in the field. I know, I know, this is a collector's, uh, collector's rifle, and I know every time I take a shot out of this, it devalues it, but my point of view on rifles, and well, specifically hunting rifles, if I don't use it, there's no point in me having it, and this particular style a rifle I really like and I fully intend on using this rifle for hunting for right uh, for deer hunting I've actually used it this last weekend of this video uh, actually this hunting season I will be using it and have used it already now I haven't harvested anything yet sadly but I still got one more weekend as of this video plus the next mid season come January but my thing is is I'm getting tired of lugging this thing around just carrying it around by hand I'm wanting to make a sling for it so I'm going to do a no screw sling and what that entails is using a little bit of knowledge and the physics of the gun now up here on this rifle I've got a pin. I don't know how well you can see it on camera. But I've got a screw that goes from the ammunition sleeve up to the barrel. And I also have this collar here. This placement collar. What I'm wanting to do, and it's going to be rather difficult. I'm probably going to have to split the leather a little bit to make it work. But I intend on slipping that leather through here. Through that little gap. It's about a two and a half, two and a quarter inch space between this sleeve, this collar, and that pin. And that is to help keep it from sliding down the barrel. Because I don't want to wrap it because of, the, of it sliding and potentially interfering with the sights. Now on this end, I'm going to do a wrap across this way along with one that goes across the butt of the stock and it'll have snaps on here to be able to snugly fit on the rifle that way it doesn't just slide off now i'm going to have to work with this ammunition sleeve a little bit so i'm probably going to have to slide this up to probably right about there to be able to utilize get, get myself a little bit extra room back here and now i'll just have to tighten this up so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and actually use the template I made from the last rifle sleeve. Oh, <laughs> rifle sleeve. Sling, rifle sling that I made last winter. And I want to make it a little bit differently. Instead of a single piece, it's going to be a multi-piece. And I'll have to do some extra work to it, but I think it'll work. So... Get back, enjoy, because I'm probably not going to stop, and it'll, most of this will be fast-forwarded and music playing. So, kick back and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
so I managed to get it thin enough uh, to be able to slide it in there just enough for it to go ahead and wrap around that sleeve. So uh, what I'm planning on doing is go ahead and treating this now and going ahead and riveting it together and I'm just going to end up using mink oil or the paste here and heating it up and doing that method that I normally do. Get it riveted. I'll be doing that. I'll go ahead and do it off camera. That way you don't, don't have to worry about it. Go from there. So next, I want to use my template here and my the previous sling that I made. What I goofed up on, uh, but I'm not going to use the entirety of it. I want to go a little bit differently, just primarily to try to save a little bit of material here. I do have another sh double shoulder I could use, but I'm trying to save some material here, and it's going to be the same concept as what this one it was, but a little bit different. The top portion will actually be fixed inside there and stitched oh because this is actually going to be a double stack just for this upper portion up until where it tapers down this portion will be double layered and it'll only uh only be this bottom side that's adjustable this other side this other end it'll be fixed in there so that's that's the way i'm going to be working it i may have to adjust this a little bit higher up I don't know yet and I'll probably have to extend this out some more make it longer uh, than what this is so I may have lost a rivet because of it and a little bit of leather but it's it is what it is so I'm going to get this traced out and cut So I did wind up having to make a lot bigger strap, a lot longer strap. This is what the end cut off. So it's actually probably about there. I mean, it's, it extends clear out to here. So that should be more than enough to be able to make the adjustments. Because like I said, I still want this to be adjustable here. I want. I'll come back later after I get this all glued together and cut out the slots here for it i'm also going to get this both of these set up with uh little grommets and utilize these as a fastener as part of the fastener system to be able to keep this from slipping out of here because this is going to have slots and grommet so it'll be slot grommet slot grommet slot grommet i know it's gonna be kind of ridiculous in a manner of speaking but you need i want to have a little bit extra security on keeping this together and uh i went ahead and went from a three quarter to one inch on this base strap it is a little thick on this but i think i should be all right because my spacing will be a little bit longer i think what is what i'm going to do is do every basically start with oh every three quarters of an uh, th every three quarter yeah yeah it'd be like so it'd be three quarter back and forth so it'd be slot grommet slot grommet slot grommet every three quarters of an inch is going to change so every inch and a half is going to be either a grommet or a slot and 
that's just a, what I'm going to be end up doing for this. Now, up here, for this, I'm going to go ahead and have this placed inside all the way and uh, have it glued in and basically sandwiched in between. I might have a, a little bit sticking out here like that. But I'm going to have this cut down to where it matches the this end. And, or I might, I don't, I might not, I don't know. And that way it's padded and, oh, not really padded, but I have smooth on both sides instead of just a rough. And I want to do, try to do a little bit of decorative stuff on this after I get this glued together and so on. I want to see what I can do. I want to try to elaborate more on, get a little bit better with my tooling. Try to get a little bit more on that because that's one thing that I'm really slacking on, a lacking I should say, is my tooling. I'm trying to make that look pretty. So uh, I want to go ahead and get this glued off screen and then I'll come back and start dealing with this. So now I got a bunch of hole punching I gotta do. I'm going to end up doing a, uh, it's gonna be kind of pointless, almost pointless, but take a thread across this end and across this end. And I'm also going to take some lace, leather lace. I'm gonna start it down in here and loop it around the edge all the way up until I get to the top and do the same down, down this side. And I'm going to end up doing a zigzag, a larger zigzag, all the way down the center of this to help hold that strap in place as I put inside and glued. It was more or less to help keep it held in there. And I'll go ahead, probably go ahead and get that laced up and everything and stitched up. And I still got to stitch up this other one too. So I still got quite a bit of stitching. I'm trying to get to where I'm doing all the stitching at the same time. So that's what I'm trying to get to. So, okay, move on to that.
this all stitched up and ready for treatment. So after that, it should shrink up a little bit and be able to fit the bed of the gun a little bit better. I, I do need to go ahead and clean this up a little bit, but I probably won't get down on camera. I might, I don't know. Either way, this needs to be cleaned up, and then I'll do the treatment and go from there. So, voila. freaking done I just gotta get this assembled and get it back onto the gun so it's pretty simple I'm sure you got any I know you guys I've already seen it this this one I like a little bit better than that last one I made whenever you do the treatment normally you let it sit for a little bit longer but I'm, I'm really wanting to get this thing done today then the rope I got this as a lock using this as a lock in here then it's just simply a slip knot that i can easily take off and be able to readjust later so and you can just simply send it through here all back through here and that's that part so fully adjustable for however many inches this would be and i get this back on Seems to be pretty daggum tight fitting now. All right, fits. So you actually fall and see it. So that's that. So the only thing I don't like is that I probably should have had this a little bit farther back. But uh, this here, I should have went ahead and ran it all the way up, up, up top here. That way, this was a little bit farther up but it is what it is i want to 
I'm actually going to have to adjust this a little bit more, get some of the slack out of here. But I don't, don't know what I'm going to do with the excess. But with this, I mean, <laughs> this thing is <laughs> now nice, really nice. There it is. That is another version of the gun sling. So now, uh, if you guys are interested, we also have Facebook, TikTok, now Instagram and Twitter set up on so on social medias. Uh, Facebook is Back Road Hobbies on Facebook, and TikTok for sure is Eli underscore Hirsch. I think the rest of them are that as well. But I think Twitter, the actual username is uh, Backroad Hobbies. And so go ahead and check those out. I'll make the corrections. They'll be on the screen. I'll verify whenever I go to uh, edit this video. But they'll, they'll be up here, up in the corners of the video on the proper, the proper uh, ads and everything for instagram and twitter because i can't remember i just recently made those accounts up so i'm gonna have to get used to remembering those so now onto the video verse all right so if you've been following along we're continuing on in hebrews and this is going to be hebrews chapter 4 verses 1 through 7. it says therefore since the promise to enter his rest remains let us beware that none of you be found to have fallen short for we also have received the good news just as they did. But the message they heard did not benefit them, since they were not united with those who heard it in faith. For we have, for, for we who have believed enter the rest, in keeping with what he said, what he has said, so I swore in my anger they will not enter my rest. Even though his works have been finished since the foundation of the world, for somewhere he has spoken about the seventh day in this way, and on the seventh day God rested from all his works. Again, in that passage he says, They will never enter my rest. Therefore, since I, it remains for some to enter it, and those who formerly received the good news did not enter because of disobedience. He again specifies a certain day, today, he specified this speaking through David after such a long time. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. And as Hebrews chapter 4, verses 1 through 7. Now I'll see you guys in the next one.